Hey guys, and welcome back. So we're gonna put together a tater tot Mexican casserole. This is gonna be really fast, it's gonna be quick and easy. It is extremely hot here, so we want uh, something that is gonna be, um, be easy to cook, not using the uh, stove or the oven very often. So we're gonna throw this all together and stick it in the oven and uh, try to get the oven off as quickly as we can. So have some more of that street taco mix and uh, we're gonna start off, gonna do this in a little bit of a layering process with some tomatoes. Then we're gonna sprinkle some meat on there. This rice actually came in this burrito bowl mix. So um, we're gonna be using the rice for this and we're gonna put it on top of the tater tot casserole. seasoning packets here that came with it and I'm going to gently dust it because this is a cheese sauce and I'm just going to drizzle well I say drizzle it doesn't look like it's drizzling There is no recipe for this. I'm just basically using ingredients that I have on hand to make this. Got a little bit of black beans that I wanna put on top of this. Now all of these ingredients is optional and you can use what you want. But like I said, these are just kind of about what we had on hand. A little bit of corn. Put more of that meat on top of it. Finish this off with the rice. I still want this to be creamy, so let me put something else in. Alright, so I have a little bit of this light yogurt. And we're going to spread on it. some more of this tomatoes. Actually, I'm going to put this whole can of tomatoes on there. And I 
just have a few of the beans left so let's just top those if you want to put an onion in here you can I didn't feel like cutting an onion up so I'm going to leave it off it's pretty spicy already with the seasonings and we're gonna just drop this in the oven okay guys so this dish that I just created tastes absolutely amazing and I would compare it to to Taco Bell's power bowl it is wonderful it is tasty and um, so some of the options you can change up in there is for one I actually use some packaged things so if you just wanted to get like the Taco Bell uh, cheese sauce and spread on there or just use your regular uh, shredded cheese that would be fine but I think the saucy cheese is absolutely wonderful and anything else I would not change out you might just um, probably have some guacamole on the sides but I did not use sour cream all I used was some light yogurt that I had for uh, my uh, dressing uh, for an extra cheese sauce because I was completely out of cheese so let's turn around and let's look at it and then let's give it a taste test I have already tasted it and it is delicious all right so here you go I mean honestly it's got potatoes on the bottom I don't even notice the potatoes I really don't but um this is just like the power bowl that they have at Taco Bell and it is so good. I went ahead and fixed me one right here and I did put it in a bowl. I did cut up some lettuce and tomatoes and put it as a side and then I had some light yogurt that I just spread across the top. God, that is so good so delicious I always talk to y'all about using what you have in your pantry you can make you can go ahead and get your ground beef I just happen to have this dried ground beef seasoning package and I've used it it's actually meatless and um, it's super good I didn't even cook it I put it in there dry and let all the juices um, cook it and um, reconstitute the meat um, the rice had some lime seasoning in it that made it delicious and some other herbs but I would definitely recommend that y'all try this at home it was super quick and easy 10 minutes um, all together getting the cans out of the pantry getting them open drained and layering it and putting it in the oven 10 minutes is what it took me to get it all done and I let it cook for about 35 minutes this is delicious guys if you wanted to add some bacani sauce to it that would be good too but yeah super good and I would definitely compare this to Taco Bell's Power Bowl if y'all like this recipe please give it a thumbs up if you have variations of this recipe please let me know in the comment thank y'all guys so much we have not cooked this week at all. We have had 100 plus degree temperatures with our humidity. We have had temperatures 108, 111. They have urged us to reduce our use of electricity. So one way to do that, we have just been making sandwiches all week long, doing our best. Um, our house doesn't have the best AC unit. So uh, it is easy uh, for it to overheat in here and just make it a little bit uncomfortable so tonight i thought i would just go ahead and cook something up that way we might have it for tomorrow so anyways guys i hope that y'all are all doing well hope that y'all are surviving the heat too and i pray that we have cooler weather coming and it's just easier for everybody all the way around the animals the farmers anybody that has to work outside in it, construction workers, anybody that is outside in this heat traveling 
So pray for cooler weather and rain to come in everybody's direction. And I will see you on the next video. I will also be showing y'all some updates on the uh, farmhouse, the Airbnb. Things are coming along on it. The bat part of the bathroom has been ripped out and some new floor joists have been put in. We are going to redesign uh, the kitchen, turn those around. And um, so anyways, we've got, her, uh, we got curtains hung up. Um, just kind of getting some things decorated, getting some ideas. Um, as soon as we get the bathroom floor done and get the new flooring done, we're going to start painting the ceilings and then we're going to start sanding the floors and getting them varnished. And then we got a lot of outside work to do on the house. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all on the next video.